Paint balls are made entirely of non-toxic food-grade ingredients. To make the hollow shell, they first pour water into a giant heated mixing bowl. They add a sweetener and a secret combination of food ingredients the company won't divulge. Then, finally, the key ingredient that gives the shell its shape. Gelatin. The kind used to make gummy bears. They melt and mix everything for a half an hour. Then line it up for what they call the drop, transferring the gel from the mixer into a heated vat called the gel tote. They filter out any globs that didn't melt. Once the gel is securely in the tote, they lower in a giant blender. They pour in food dye and blend for about 20 minutes. Elsewhere in the factory, they use the same method to dye what's called the fill, the paint that goes inside the shell of the paintball. It's made of polyethylene glycol, the inert liquid in cough syrup. They thicken it with crayon wax. The gel and fill meet their maker in what's known as the feed room. Here, the vats of gel and fill feed a capsulation machine one floor below. This machine is the same kind used to make bath beads and gel cap medicine. First, the machine spreads out the gel onto a cool drum this creates a continuous thin sheet of gel called a gel ribbon. This cooling cures the gelatin to the point where it can now be molded into the hollow shell of the ball. The machine presses the gel ribbon into a die with half circle pockets, each forming one half of a ball shell. The machine does the next three steps in one shot. It aligns the two half shells together to form a hollow ball, injects the fill, then seals the two half shells together. These newly minted paintballs are still quite soft though. If they're not dried out, they'll lose their shape. So they fall down onto a conveyor, then roll into a tumble dryer. From here, they'll go on to a bakery-style rack until they dry out completely.